Hello, Pastor Chris Wickland here. So today I, I want to offer an apology um, for uh, a prophecy and that, I, that I'd given out last year, this time last year. So basically, there's been recent, recently a lot of concern about me uh, from, I guess, because um, a, a lot of my prophetic words, they've received a lot of national attention. And uh, obviously with that, you're, you're going to get some criticism, and that's fine. I can take the criticism. Um, but obviously, if you're putting out content that tr that proves to not be true, well, then that's that's a whole other story, right? And so, you know, and it is a very difficult job to do what I've been doing because, so for example, I get people criticize me because when I give prophetic words, it's normally in the first person perspective. And I understand that because I'm, I'm, as though I'm saying it is the words of God. And therefore, if, if there's any error in that, I'm kind of blaspheming against God. But then likewise, I've taken first perspective prophetic words as I've transcribed them down and then turned them into the third person and then equally got criticized for that. Say, who do you think you are to alter and adapt the word of God? So uh, I, I get that. And uh, so basically, the long and short of it is, uh, is um, last year, I, I gave out a prophetic word basically talking about the general election. Now, this this was a dream. This wasn't something I just kind of like thought up and made up and put out there. It was it was a dream that ha it went on all night. And in this dream, it, the words uproar, uproar, uproar kept going round and round and round. And as I was praying throughout the night, uh, I saw I saw in this in these dreams, Keir Starmer, because I kept waking up and go back to sleep, waking up and back to sleep. I saw Keir Starmer and he was doing these little underhanded tricks that was causing real problems to the Conservative Party. And then Keir Starmer managed to then trigger an early general election. And then what happened was, as it all backfired, the Houses of Parliament, I think a hung parliament took place, and then nothing would move. And then there was gridlock uh, from a parliamentary point of view. The House of Lords, sorry, not the House of Lords, the, the House of Parliament literally collapsed in on itself, not literally, but metaphorically, nothing could get done. And then there was uproar on our streets uh, because nothing was getting done and the country was in a really bad state. Obviously, Keir Starmer did not trigger an early general election as I'd seen it. This for me is very interesting because over the years, you know, when you learn to trust these things, I have to be honest, that one's kind of thrown me a bit. And, and that's why I've chosen that in all fairness, I do need to apologize. And I do need to fall on my sword a little bit on this one uh, in that that has not happened. None of what I've just said has happened at all. Uh, and even if only half of it were true, say the latter half were true, if the first part isn't true, then I still think the whole thing's invalid. You see, one thing you get with the, with the prophetic ministry is that if you, so for example, if you're an evangelist and you have a 70% success rate, that's not bad. If you're an apostle and you're a 50 to 70% success rate, that's okay. So with being a pastor or a teacher, but with, it, with a prophet, Unfortunately, that the, the demands that are put upon you these days, you have to have a hundred percent success rate, and if you get it wrong, then you've got it wrong, and you're a false prophet. So, I guess with those kind of standards, um, I, I guess you know, which is pretty brutal standards, um, I therefore classify as being in this respect a false prophet. So, I, I want to first of all offer an apology on that prophetic word. I am genuinely really sorry. Like I said, I don't go out my way to make these words up so I can get notoriety and get fame. But the problem is, and this is the concern a lot of people are having about me, is that my prophetic words are now making national, um, getting national attention. And there are what I'd call quite important people in the prophetic world who are now seeing this stuff. And um, they're not happy with, with some stuff that I'm, I'm putting out there. And, and I understand that and I can understand they're not happy with how I'm presenting it um they're not you know and these these are not just people that have an opinion these are people us who've been um working with alongside and in prophetic ministries it's not just one individual there's quite a few people in the prophetic ministry for for many many years and so uh and quite rightly so you know i have to i have to come under some sense of scrutiny in that so that's fine so so what i'm going to suggest what i'm going to say i'm going to do is this as from today i'm going to put out because this is the best that i can do really under the situation. So I'm not going to put out any more prophetic content for one whole year, okay, from today's day. I'm not going to put out any more content at all. Now, the reason why I say years is because a lot of my prophecies are about to expire. 
as in within one year, a lot of things are going to happen or should happen. If they don't, then those prophetic words will crucify me. And that, and then I promise that I will never utter a prophetic word again as long as I live. Okay. To the end of my life, I will promise you I'll never utter another prophetic word. However, if those words do come to pass within that year's year time frame, even then I'll have to really seriously consider where I go from there, you know, how is the best way to package the word that, that in a way that is, because I mean, prophetic words are always offensive in some respect, but in a way that can be packaged that um, causes as little offense as possible so that people can at least get the word and, and decide what to do about that. So, I mean, that's, that's really all I can do, really. I, I, I humbly apologize. I'm genuinely sorry. Um, but like I said, this is not something I just made up and oh, it's gone wrong. This this is stuff that I I had dreams and things and 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 uh, and so when you get these things, you you learn to trust them. Now the problem is if that therefore that dream that I had all night long is wrong, then it calls into question everything else. And so that's why I've decided to go quiet for a whole year. I'll still be putting up my teaching, you know, uh, as a as a pastor onto this onto this channel and onto my uh, podcast channels on this YouTube channel. But I'll put no more prophetic content on it. And as I said, I'll leave the current content up for one year. And that that content will either crucify me or in some way it may exonerate me. And even if it does exonerate me in some way, I will still have to really consider how going forward, how I'm going to work with that. Um, and that's really the best I can do. And as I said, if that stuff doesn't come to pass, I will, after a year, delete all the content. And uh, again, I'll probably issue another apology then. And I shall leave the prophetic ministry well along well alone and have i have i gone into deception in this kind of stuff have i deceived myself in all honesty i don't think so but but if you're deceived you don't know right so in all honesty i don't think so i haven't gone out of my way to build up a name for myself because if i wanted to build up a name for myself there's lots of other things i could have prophesied that would have given me millions of followers on youtube so i don't do it for that um, I, I genuinely and honestly only submitted that which I genuinely and honestly believe was from God. But now those things are in question. So you as the body of Christ, you need to weigh and test and discern and do with this as you please. Um, but I think it's right and proper that I apologize. Like I said, I haven't gone out of my way to try and mislead people. I haven't gone out of my way to deceive people. It's not my nature. It's not, in, it's not, it's not what I want to do. It's never what I wanted to do. So I, I am genuinely sorry. I humbly apologize. And as I said, I'm going to leave this prophetic stuff for one whole year. And I suspect my other prophetic words, which I'll leave on this site, uh, will crucify me. And if they do, then I will, after one year, will take them all down and I will never issue another, what I believe to be a prophetic word ever again. And even if they do in some way come to pass, I'll still have to seriously consider the way ahead after that. So that's it. I hope that's, uh, cleared up some stuff. And again, I'm genuinely sorry. Um, and I've not gone out of my way to deceive anybody. And I hope that will appease those who, um, who are concerned and rightly so for the content that I've been putting out. Okay. Thank you. God bless.